Hey guys, this is Rusty and today I'm gonna show you how to build these medieval style gallows to put anywhere in your village or even on the square of your town or city. Next. To start the build, place a line of four spruce logs, keeping a three block gap between them. This will be the front of the raised platform. And to create the backside, add another row of spruce logs, this time three, five blocks away from this row, while keeping a five block gap between each of the logs in the back row. Now extend all of these pillars to be three blocks tall in total and cap them off with a dark oak slab. Next grab some stripped spruce logs and raise two pillars right in between the two rows, two blocks away from the edges and have those be seven blocks tall. Continue with some spruce stairs by placing them against the middle pillar of the back row, upside down on the second block. Then do the same for the two middle pillars of the front row and on that level also surround the two stripped pillars from all sides with upside down spruce stairs. And then grab some spruce slabs and fill in the platform leaving just the places in between the outside pillars themselves, so you should end up with a nice 11 by 5 platform. Next, add 6 spruce stairs in between the front two middle pillars, just like this, and also 3 more stairs on the back side of those. Now get your spruce trapdoors and finish the platform in between the pillars. I usually try to keep the lines of the spruce slabs with the lines of the spruce trapdoors, so I place them just like this. And now we get to the railing, which we will start with the front side by placing dark oak stairs right next to all of the front pillars filling the gap between them with upside down dark oak slabs and finally covering the whole thing with dark oak trapdoors. And for the rest of the sides use a design where you have normal dark oak stairs on the sides, then against them place some more dark oak stairs but this time upside down Connect those with a dark oak slab that is upside down and finally add some more dark oak trapdoors but only on the sides next to the slabs on top of the pillars. And you should repeat this design four times in total to have the railing finished. And for the next part add another stripped spruce pillar on top of the two existing ones, that is this time 11 blocks long. I also kind of forgot to add the dark oak signs to the railing, so cover the top spruce log of each pillar from every side that you can with those. And also while you have those, cover three sides of the second topmost block of the two stripped pillars with those as well. Now grab some more spruce trapdoors and cover the joint between the two pillars and the resting pillar on top of them. Then continue by placing some upside down spruce stairs to create the arch and two spruce fences below them. Next at three dark oak fences in the middle of the resting log with a one block gap in between them and at some chains hanging from them. Now get your dark oak buttons and add them on both sides of the blocks the fences are hanging from. And also while you have those 
surround the bottommost block of the stripped logs above the platform with those, just like this. And at three barrels below the chains on top of the platform, so the people to be executed have something to stand on and those barrels can then be kicked away to get those people hanging. And to finish the design, add two levers, one on each of the stripped pillars, just like this. Next. And that's about it for this video. I really hope you like the design. If you do, definitely leave a like and I'll see you next time.